Seven signs you're a highly sensitive person. Here we discover what the signs of a highly sensitive person are. How do you know if you're a highly sensitive person, HSP, or an empath, someone who feels more than other people? How can we assess these concepts objectively and critically rather than failing for woo-woo? This covers it all. Before we continue, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to receive your daily dose of knowledge. One, lifelong jump scares. Do the smallest things freak you out? Does every loud sound or jump scare send you running for the hills? Well, if so, there's a good chance you're a highly sensitive person. Sensitive people are the easiest people in the world to startle since they worry about almost everything. Their brains are on high alert 24 seven, which means that every time someone yells or laughs too loud, highly sensitive people are ready to jump right out of their skin. Two, recharging in silence. Most people hate getting stuck with piles and piles of busy work, but sensitive people don't mind it as much. Why? Well, because busy work means they have time to themselves. Highly sensitive people know the power of solitude better than anyone. They embrace an opportunity to get away from daily life and just enjoy the quiet. That's why sensitive people often flourish in careers where they can work independently. Now, for a sensitive person, solitude is a rare opportunity not only to focus, but also to relax. When they're feeling overwhelmed by work or life in general, the peace can be the perfect place to recover and recharge. Three, the perfect email. How much time do you spend sending an email? For some people, email only takes a few seconds. You write a response, you sign your name, and boom, you're done. For highly sensitive people, emails are a long and stressful process because they want to make sure that every detail is perfect. If you're a sensitive person, then you might rewrite the same sentence a dozen times or change your sign off by best to sincerely to from and then back to best again. But why are sensitive people so worried about sending emails? The real problem has nothing to do with their emails. Highly sensitive people just worry too much about making mistakes. They have something called mistake anxiety and that drives them to obsess over every little thing they do. That's why, whether it's a big project or just a tiny email, sensitive people always aim for the same thing, perfection. Four, beating yourself up. For a highly sensitive person, the small mistakes can ruin the biggest successes. Okay, let's say you're pitching an idea to a group of investors. If you give your pitch and four out of five of the investors loved it, you'd call that a resounding success. Well, most of us would, but for a highly sensitive person, that one failure means everything. Instead of celebrating, they'll sit there and wonder what went wrong. They'll beat themselves up over the most insignificant things because in the mind of a highly sensitive person, every mistake counts 10 times more. Five, searching for drama. Since sensitive people worry so much, their lives seem overwhelmingly negative. They can't stop thinking about the drama that's going on all around them. So naturally, that's all they want to talk about. If you know someone highly sensitive, you've probably had this kind of conversation before. Let's say you see your friend across the room. So naturally, you walk over and say hello. You ask them how their week's been going. And you probably expect a short answer like pretty good or busy. But instead, you get a 15 minute rant about every single thing that's going wrong in their life. It seems a little self-absorbed at the moment, but your friend isn't obsessed with themselves. They're just more sensitive than the average person. Six, physical emotions. Do you experience emotions mentally and physically? If you're a highly sensitive person, your emotions might overflow from your brain and leak into other parts of your body. Let's say that you get yelled at by your boss. You feel some kind of strong negative emotion afterward. Maybe you're frustrated or angry or sad, but instead of yelling or crying, your body does something different. You get a massive headache that just won't go away or sudden shooting pain in your stomach. Now, of course, the problem isn't your head or your digestive system, it's your mind. Your brain is sensing such strong emotions that your body is paying the price. Seven, a lonely lunch. At work or school, where do you eat lunch? Do you find the most crowded table and join the conversation? Or do you search for a beautiful, quiet place to enjoy your food alone? It turns out your lunchtime habits say a lot about your sensitivity. Less sensitive people tend to seek out socially active environments. 
they want to get in on the action. But highly sensitive people want to use that time to be alone, to think and recharge, and that way by the time lunch is over, they'll feel ready for the rest of the afternoon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about our upcoming videos because more incredible content is on the way.